What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when there is no sound coming through your monitor or TV when connecting your Windows PC. This is a common problem, but it's usually easy to fix with a few simple steps. Make sure your HDMI or DisplayPort cable is securely connected on both your PC and monitor or TV. Ensure that your monitor or TV is set to the correct input source. When this is done, open up your Windows settings. Under System, click on Sound. Here, look for the Output section and click on the drop-down menu. Select your monitor or TV from the list of playback devices. It might be labeled as the name of your monitor or TV model. Next, scroll down and open the volume mixer. Here, ensure that the system volume for output devices and apps is not muted or set too low. If you still notice any problems after adjusting your audio settings, head back to the sound section and click on Troubleshoot Common Sound Problems for Output Devices. This might take a couple of seconds to scan for any issues you might be having with your selected output device. When this is done, make sure your Windows version is up to date to prevent any software or driver-related problems. While still in your settings, head to the Windows Update section and click on Check for Updates. Download and install any available updates. You might be required to restart your PC to complete the installation. A system restart can also, in a lot of cases, fix software and sound-related issues on your PC. When this is done, you should make sure that your PC is recognizing the connection and that the connected device is using updated drivers. Search for Device Manager in your Start menu search to open it up. Here, Right-click your PC's name and click on Scan for Hardware Changes. It might take a second to update the device list here. Next, expand the Sound, Video and Game Controller section. Right-click on your audio device and select Update Driver. Choose Search Automatically for Drivers. If updating doesn't work, try uninstalling the driver and then restarting your PC. Windows will reinstall the driver automatically after your PC restarts. If you're using an HDMI splitter, make sure it supports audio pass-through. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.